Hi there, students. Gubbins. I love this word. OK, gubbins is another word for stuff. Um, firstly, note, gubbins is always plural. So, gubbins, odds and ends. The gubbins on my desk has got to be cleared away. Um, or something sticky that you just don't know what it is. So I've got some gubbins on my hand and I just don't know how to get it off. So it's either a collection of unimportant um, odds and ends, little bits, or it's um, bits and pieces, scraps, refuse, some sort of stuff. Um, I think originally or earlier, um, they used to use it for the scrapings or the refuse from fish, the rubbish left over from a fish market. So you're selling fish and you gut the fish and they're different scraps and pieces of fish. And that is gubbins. Um, so fragments, scraps, assorted stuff something that you don't know what it is you don't have a uh, an idea of what it is or what it's called yeah um i would use gubbins either for this collection of items so the gubbins that you need to uh change a tire the gubbins you need to go fishing yeah, the gubbins you need to do a little job uh, in the garden. Yeah, the different bits of equipment, the assorted stuff. Yeah, or there's some gubbins on the floor, something, some undefined amorphous thing that you just don't know what it is. Um, apparently, this word's been round, been with us in English. Um, since maybe the 16th century. Um, they suggest that the origin is from Old French, gobe, a piece, which is very possible. But notice this word gubbins, it's, it, it's very informal. Maybe debris, detritus, dross, jumble, litter, scraps, rubbish, shavings. Uh, jetsam, uh, tat, okay, so all of these are, uh, are good synonyms for it. Gubbins, I've got to clear all these gubbins away before I start working. Um, yes, the, uh, uh, the, um, I read the gubbins on the back of the label. I read all the safety gubbins. So here it's a bit more, more figurative. Um, before I, uh, I was allowed to, uh, ride the machine, they, they gave me all the gubbins about not putting my hands out and, uh, not standing up and things like that. They gave me all the safety gubbins, um, all the legal gubbins that you have to, uh, sign to complete a contract. Notice this word gubbins is really informal, yeah? I think gubbins is even more informal than stuff. Um, I think I'd probably give it something like 3, 3.5 informality. Oh yes, and do the Americans use this? I think not, but I'm not convinced. Um, Let's see, Gubbins, very British. It sounds a little bit middle class as well, but Gubbins, it's a great word, the stuff. Yeah, that, where, um, where do you buy that Gubbins you use to uh, unblock the drain? Yeah, that stuff, that product, yeah? Okay, so Gubbins, just another word for stuff. Um, and so, yeah, um... I think I gave you the origin this word gobe in French, so that's probably it. If you enjoyed the video, give it a rating and all that gubbins. Um, remember, it's always plural as well. Subscribe to my channel and I'll see you soon. Bye for now. Gubbins.